It's December the 18th. And Trinity Trinity. And it's time to start today's countdown to Christmas. Oh yeah. Welcome. Welcome everybody. To the Christmas painting Canvas. challenge. Canvas. Okay. You guys are going to have the Christmas painting challenge. You're going to have half an hour. Half an hour? Is that the whole one? No, I need like an hour. No, it ain't going to happen. Half an hour. <laughs> I might have to impl employ the use of a hairdryer. However, underneath the canvas that you pick, we'll have an advantage or a disadvantage. But how many of them have disadvantages? Two and one has an advantage. Just not I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, see. So, youngest goes first on picking. Pick your canvas. Now back to the Christmas painting challenge. I want to pick that. Alright. And, and pick up your card. Okay, it says plus five or minus five. So what you could do is at any point in the challenge, you can either give yourself five more minutes or take five minutes off of someone else's time. Ooh. It's for you to decide, baby. Oh, well, Nate's turn to pick. This is gonna be nice. Just pick one. First dibs. Okay. I'm you get to pick so I your get brush a disadvantage. and your paint first. Oh yes. Oh, what's that? Color confiscation. I mean, you get to have whatever color you want. He gets first dibs. But, but after that, you get a color for ten whole minutes, and unless you want to share, you don't have to. Okay. Okay. Can I grab I'm your brushes? Go. Can I grab a brush? No, I get no first. Get my paint and my brush first. Remember? Does he get a brush dib? Yes. Yeah. I get first dibs on everything. I'm going portrait. Is yeah, it okay right. if I bring up paint of mine? Bring. I might need it for some reason. So if colors. you want it on time, it's gonna take for your time. Wait. Yeah. Okay, I got first dibs. I think I'll go with this. Can I only pick one? I'm really excited. This is the painting challenge. I won uh, 2017, I think it was. I won that painting challenge, and I'm going into this one with the confidence that I'm going to win. I mean, last year I knew I was going, and this year it's the same feeling. I'm going to start off and bring a little bit of Christmas trees, and my only regret is that I can't find any ground. So hopefully that will all go well. I get first dibs. And this can really help in a paint job where it only allow one paint. And, and then you have to put it back and someone can take it and you can't take it back until they're done. So this will definitely help. I get to take my paint brushes first. It's just going to be really helpful. Yeah. Me, but I, I, can't, I don't really have a choice for me. Um, it's a little watery, but I can work for watery. Uh, where does this go? Roger, quickly, I need you. Today I'm going for a my take on Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night, a very traditional and classic painting. I'm doing my rendition of it, but with a nativity scene, and it's working out beautifully. I'm just thinking out loud to myself. Well, look, I'm getting that texture I want, and that's making the colors, and then I'm going to have to let this dry. I'm going to... I never used my color of confiscation, so that might be a downfall, but I'm hoping not. I started with the blue paint, doing brush swooshes to mimic the texture of the original painting. Get that good swooshy texture, just take your brush and do swooshes on it and then you paint and that's for the sky. Trace something. Can I use a sharpie to draw an outline? I Anybody know where the tape's at? It's up there. All I need Can I have a sharpie? Uh, Just grab the tape. All I'm trying to make is I'm trying to make something that's going to be Go ahead. really cool. Can I have a Today I'm trying to make my painting look like something after a life day fight. So it, it turned out really well. Other paint back. You cannot have two paints at once. Yeah, all I have is yellow right now. This all is turning out beautifully. Sun. Okay, so I'm mixing all the colors together and I'm realizing it's just not making brown. Kind of making brown, at least a darker green. Maybe I can wear yellow. 
Here we go. And I'm really worried, and I try to add more yellow, because that's what's supposed to happen. And then I add more red, and it's finally starting to turn brown. And I'm so excited. I just got saved from the red, you know? It's really going to help that the brown, because that incorporates the main picture in my painting, which is the not only a stump of a tree, which isn't really anything, but a cabin. And that, if you don't have brown, you can't really make a cabin. Using my power up and giving me some more time. You don't need time. Already? Right? So you're giving yourself or are you taking time away from somebody? I'm taking some time for myself. I gotta go. Okay, he's adding five more minutes to his time. I did black outlines for the road. Then I used green for the grass on the outside. And thankfully, Nathaniel had made some brown paint and was able to let me use some. Nate, will you let me have this brown, please? I would like a little towel to dry off this brush because I need to continue using this one. And that's something you'll have to go get. Do we have paper towels? Don't look like. So I'm gonna be the final judge. Well, we're gonna have. If there was a tie, I will be the final judge, but there will also be a blind judge coming in to judge. If I want to sign it, I have to sign it on the back. Sign it on the back. Then you sign. I think we hang these in our room. Yeah, that'd be great. There's a little bit of problems to my walker in my before. That's very nice. You still got plenty of time left if you want to add some details. Okay. Anything yes, you want I to do did. to it? Yes, I did. So. All right. I need more brown. Walker in my painting didn't work out so well. I was painting that white so it looked like there was so much shiny on it. It didn't work so well. You saw him put the blue paper thing in the white so it mixed blue and it didn't look good. What happened to the lights in the background? Uh, I unplugged them accidentally when I plugged in that and I wasn't going to waste time to plug it back in. <laughs> you first, tore down the set, you got to plug it back at in. At first I was going to. First I was going to, I was like thinking like, maybe I should, maybe look at try to upset that I just tore his entire house. But no, he's very forgiving. Can I use your brown? Like if I can. Alright guys, you only got 15 brown. minutes left. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? You heard me right. <laughs> Fine. That's not enough time, but I'll do it. I'll do my best. I thought it would be a good idea to use the blow dryer to dry the paint. Try to get it to, like, 100% dry really quickly so I could put on the stars. But they still turned out green because the paint was 100% dry. It's really different. It's really difficult. But overall, I'd say the hair dryer technique works well. And I used yellow for the stars. It turned out looking a bit green because the blue paint wasn't 100% dry, and the yellow and the blue mixed. And then for the uh, stable and manger, I used black paint. And also for the baby Jesus, I have him in the manger. <laughs> can I have a bit more room? Yes, a little bit. Can you, to... um, can you open up the white paint for me? I can hope I don't spill water like last year. Me play. You know, nothing. And I didn't spill water like last year. Remember that? That was the mess to clean up. And Eric had to clean it up. Who did that? Who? The black caps in the ground on the floor. I know. I'm going to knock it over. Bye! Okay, I'm gonna call this done. I got the dryer! Can I have the dryer back? Here, I'm gonna get the dryer next, Derek. I need to dry this. Don't you let like, your old, you're done with your painting. I just I'm need it, it needs to dry. Well, Alright, David, let him dry it. Yours is dry, it looks like. Is it okay if I use it now, Derek, David? It's my turn. You're still painting. No, I'm I'm ready to dry this one I need to do. So Eric's using a blow dryer and he's like hogging it. I'm the one who got it for him. I went and used my time to go get it, and he's like, You can use my hair dryer. Because <laughs> that's how he talks, literally. Whenever he's up there, he goes, <laughs> My name 
gonna be cleaning up that paint and this hair dryer. My goodness, history repeats itself. He spilled paint again. David, of course, always the one to knock over something. He knocked over the water in 2017s and Eric got mad over it because he had to clean it up, take away from his time. He's a big complainer, but uh, he spilled it again this year with paint this time, which is kind of worse. But I think we, I think the clean crew will get it, though I'm pretty sure they're on holiday because apparently I'm a lady. So, um, I did spill a little bit of white paint on it. It's a little bit less, but on my express, a little bit of like a circle drop. And then near the end, Nate spills over his paint. He spills over green paint, a huge blob on the table. What that it got on my painting? Crazy. Oh. Just spilled over another thing of paint. Ten! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, your time's up! <laughs> Alright! Nate, clean up. <laughs> Eric, clean up the hair dryer. There are two prizes. Wait, er there are prizes? Well, what are the prizes? Really. The prizes really. are the joy of winning. Oh, okay. And, um... Wait, so you said there's only two the prizes? first, there is most creative. Okay. And the second one is just based painting, right? Bias painting. And the most creative is going to... David. What? You got the most creative, David. And best painting. <laughs> Is there any surprise here? Both judges agreed. Nay! <laughs> what? You know, it's hard being the oldest in a challenge for painting because they don't truthfully say what they believe the judges, that is. They, they let the younger ones win because they're balancing out for skill, age, and awesomeness. They think... Since they're just, you know, little kids, they won't know how to paint well. So, their technique was better than his technique, which was the best. You know what I'm saying? It's a very big roller coaster of overlapping, mishmashing theories and things, but that's where you leave the challenge feeling cheap. You see the paintings hung up and you're like, mine's the best. I'm sorry. I... Mine is clearly better. Well, this isn't even fully painted. I'm so glad I won. Like I said, I could feel it in my bones. This was going to be a win. I feel sorry for David, but I'm sure after a week or two, he'll start talking again. Um, but now back to me, because that's what everyone cares about. I am the winner. I am the champion two in a row. You cannot beat this painting master. It was not so great of doing the grease coating painting. I was mad. But still, you kind of... I kind of said something to me, and then we forgive each other. We always do. And one day, we just forgive each other. Now it was, it was kind of left on the edges, but we got through it. You know?